Hey, great to see you back here on my channel. And today I'm going to unbox the Arteza brush pens. And because there are already a lot of unboxings and first impressions and reviews of just the Arteza brush pens, I thought why not compare these to the ones I got from Wish some month ago. Yeah, so that would be maybe a nice comparison for some of you who are not really sure which watercolor brush pens to get. And so let's start. So here you can see what the watercolor brush pens look like when they arrive. Thank you to Arteza, I got these brush pens for free, but I'm not forced to say anything specific about these pens, so this is just my honest review. And here on the other side you can see the ones I got from Wish. Here are 24 different brush pens and yeah, here you can see 48 different colors. So let's unbox this thing first. So here on the back you can already see what colors are in here. There you have different sets here. Ooh, that's really nice. And they also included a watercolor brush, yay! So that's pretty nice that they include a watercolor brush here so we can do some blending later. So let's see how they compare. So you can see the upper one is by Arteza and this one here by Wish. The ones by Arteza are slightly bigger than the one I got from Wish. The brush here of the Arteza pen is a bit thinner and it's also really some bristles here and this one here basically don't really look like a brush pen when you compare it to a paintbrush. And yeah, let's see how this will affect our painting. And I think we just start off by doing some swatches and then we can head over to our painting. Time to blend the colors a bit and that's why I also left some space here below my swatches. So I'm just grabbing a cup and put some water in. Yeah, and as you can see I am able to blend the colors. So it's not that easy to activate them though. Okay, here you can see now how the colors by Wish look and it's time to move on to Arteza. done with the swatches now and there was no difference when it came to activating the colors so it was equally easy to activate the watercolors when I added the water on top so yeah there was basically no difference yeah and you can see a nice color variety of the Arteza colors but I also like the ones by Wish 
and Atessa came with a really really bright blue, a really pastel blue tone and I really like that. But what was different though was the handling. So it was basically the difference between you work with a paintbrush or your work with a felt tip. So I really tried to catch this now on camera so that you can see what I mean. So we are doing Arteza first and you can see that they really have a brush pen. So the name real brush pens is suitable. And we can also create a dry brush effect. It's a really soft brush and that just means it's not easy cont to control the thickness because it changes so quickly. You can also try a lettering. So I always feel like that lettering is harder when you have to handle a soft brush, but it's also a matter of practice. And now we are doing the wish. Yeah, the difference is that it's not a real brush pen. It's like a felt tip. So we also don't get a dry brush effect. But lettering is easier, at least for me. So that's basically the main difference. Just comes down to the brush. If you can handle a brush pretty good or if you just like to work with normal nibs so here you can see it now from a different angle here, the dry brush effect and I can't do this with the wish pens. And yeah, I personally feel it is much easier to work with the ones by wish. But let's see how this works in a real artwork. And yeah, let's go. So here is a sketch from my old sketchbook and I wanted to color this here for ages and I think now it's the perfect moment to do so. Maybe I should start with the one by Wish because uh, there are less colors to work with. So I don't have a real skin color for the Wish side. Hmm, but don't know what to do now. So I think for now I'm done with the wish side. Maybe I will add some clip pencil details on top. But it wasn't that much of a problem that I hadn't had a skin color because it made me mixing my own. So I just grabbed a bit of yellow and a bit of orange and took the paintbrush and just that I get a little bit of color. And I combined that with purple and I think it, it looks pretty good. So no problem that there isn't a skin tone. And now I am going to the other side and see how the Arteza brush pens perform.
so the sun came out, which is pretty nice, but bad for the video lighting. <laughs> so now can you see the finished result? Not really finished, but I just put some color on my sketch. There are some advantages and disadvantages of each brand. So if you like to go with Wish, you can get the pens a little bit cheaper around 50 cents per marker and Arteza offers them currently for about 70 cents per marker. I really like the pens by Wish because you can handle them much easier than the ones by Arteza in my opinion because they simply don't have a really soft brush. And I also really like the color range Wish offers. It was pretty nice. And it wasn't a problem that there wasn't a skin tone included, so you can easily mix the colors by your own. And when I used the pens by Wish, it was easier for me to pick up the colors from the nib with my watercolor brush. With that, it was somehow more difficult with the ones by Arteza, I don't know why, but just for some of the pens, I feel like the lighter tones were harder to pick up. Just my experience here. Whereas when you use the ones by Arteza, you can do some really nice dry brush techniques. Um, if you like that. And when I worked really carefully and slowly, I was able to do some really tiny details in the drawing. But yeah. Again, I feel like Arteza offers um, really, really good brush pens and they really deserve the name real brush pens and I think when you practice a little bit with them you can be really good with these pens here and if you are more like a beginner or have problems with handling a brush then I would really recommend the ones by Wish um, to you and yeah. But all in all, I, I was really surprised that both perform pretty well. And I just like to mention here that I am taking a little break from YouTube because of several reasons. I do have some videos um, not really prepared but left on my PC for a while and especially one I really like and I think I'm going to publish them at some time but for now I think I will have a break for at least three months and yeah I hope that's okay for you and there are enough videos on my channel you can watch in the meantime and thank you so much for watching and I will see you someone I don't know why but thanks a lot for watching and bye bye